Today we are going to talk about dielectric or the deionized water you have to use in your wire cut machines. You might think water, what's so special about that? Well, using just any kind of water will cause problems in your machines. The water that you use has to be deionized for your wire EDM to do its job correctly. But don't worry, we will tell you everything that you need to know about dielectric and deionization. Hi, my name is Ajinkya Kirkar and my company Innovation Filter Systems makes filtration systems just for wire EDMs since 1999. In my last video, uh, I talked about how speed, accuracy and surface finish are affected by several factors. But purposefully, I left out the most important factor that is the dielectric. And the reason for that is the topic is so important that we thought that it deserved its own video. So here it is. So, well, what is dielectric? In the most simplest terms, dielectric is the fluid that you use in any EDM operation. We'll go into more details in it, but if you don't have time to watch the entire video, here is the gist. It flushes away the debris that is caused due to the wire cutting operation. It cools away the workpiece and the wire. And third, and the most important thing, is that well you can't use your wire cut machine without it. Man, who could have imagined that water could be such a crucial resource in a wire cutting operation. If you are intrigued, please keep watching the video because we are going to go really deep into this topic. You may have heard about dielectric during your engineering days. In a nutshell, dielectric is an electrical insulating material which can be polarized or charged by putting it in an electric field. Polarization means moving the electric charge through the material. And the electric charge does not flow as easily through a dielectric as it does through an electric conductor, like a copper wire. Instead, they stay put with only a slight shift from their original position. Let me explain this by giving an example. Imagine that there are two highways. Let's call one highway uh, the dielectric highway and the other one, the conductor highway. And the same car, let's call it electric charge, is moving on both the highways simultaneously. Now the car on the conductor highway will go smoothly or quickly and may even travel for thousands of kilometers. However, the car on the dielectric highway will move only by, let's say, a millimeter. And that is just because of the road's material. In order to understand why we need a dielectric for wire EDM process, we need to know and understand how a wire EDM works. So let me try and explain that in brief. Wire EDMs are quite high-tech machines, but the principle on which they work is quite simple. It is a common misunderstanding that the wire EDMs cut a material, but that is not the case. What they do is just melt away tiny particles of the workpiece to achieve a cut. But how, you might ask, doesn't that take a lot of heat? Well, of course. During the machining process, the temperatures may go up to 12,000 degrees centigrade, which is hotter than the sun's surface. And how do these machines generate this, this much amount of heat? Well, it does by creating electrical discharges or sparks between two oppositely charged materials. In this case, the wire and the workpiece. So where does the dielectric fit into all this? Well, the dielectric provides a clear channel or a pathway for the transfer of energy from wire to the workpiece. It's like a conduit for the high voltage, high frequency sparks that are generated during machining. Now let's imagine that if there was no dielectric, what that means that we would have to machine in complete vacuum which means that there won't be a clear pathway for the sparks to fly from the wire to the workpiece. And hence, there we won't be able to achieve the high temperatures needed to melt away the microscopic particles. And hence, we won't be able to use our wire cut machines if there was no dielectric. Another important reason to use a dielectric is to dissipate the machining heat. As explained earlier, the machining temperatures 
may reach up to 12000 degree centigrade so where does this heat all this heat go well the dielectric takes away this heat from the wire and the workpiece and helps achieve or keep the machining temperatures within acceptable limits what all this leads to is it prevents thermal growth in the workpiece as well as the machines and helps us keep the tight tolerances for which this wire cut machining operation is very famous for lastly during wire cutting the wire as well as the workpiece they melt that is they get converted to ash now if there was no dielectric all this ash would just keep on piling up on the on the workpiece so the dielectric helps to flush away the debris or the ash and help in keeping the dimensional accuracy and the surface finish curious about deionized water well it's a wonderful material which is used in the industry right from making baby formula to even space shuttles it's a preferred dielectric in case of wire edms because it gives a higher material removal rate and reduces the tool wear compared to other fluid like oil moreover it is relatively low cost and environmentally friendly making it the perfect choice so why does the water need to be deionized that's an excellent question deionization is just a fancy or engineering way of saying get rid of those ions in the water but what are ions well they are charged particles floating around in your regular tap water they may be negative or positively charged and they are basically what gives the water its taste so deionization means taking out all these ions leaving you with clean and pure water to use so where do these charged particles or ions come from in the water well these are nothing but materials or minerals that get added into the water uh, from its source till its point of use so these minerals may be good for your health but they definitely are not good for wire cutting operation so where do these ions come from in the water well you may be aware that every naturally occurring material or element has a charge either negative or positive these naturally occurring elements are basically minerals now when water flows over these minerals they get dissolved in the water and that is how we get the total dissolved solids that is tds in our in our water now the charge that the mineral has it also gets added to the water and hence the water gets positive or negative charged ions now this mineralized water may be good for your health but it is definitely not good for your wire cutting operation another source of these ions is the constant generation of ash uh, because of the melting away of the wire and the workpiece the ash also has some charge so when it gets added into the water it the water no longer remains deionized effectively filtering away the debris from the water helps maintain the deionization of water during the wire cutting process so what effect does not using deionized water have on wire cut operation well imagine you are a wire cut machinist and provide wire cutting services and hence you would want to give the best quality products to your customers in that case you would want to have a controlled process and you would want to have a machine which sparks only where it is desired that is between the wire and the workpiece now if you have charged particles floating or dis or dissolved in your dielectric the sparks won't be limited only to the wire and the workpiece they would be everywhere thus affecting the quality and the dimensional accuracy as well as the surface finish of your product some experts are of the opinion that ions present in the water can also lead to faster rusting or oxidation on the workpiece during the wire cutting operation not only that it is it may prove dangerous to use non deionized water that is regular tap water i have personally known some customers who have ruined their machines because of short circuits just because they use tap water and not deionized water so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i hope that i have added some value to your wire cutting operation if you haven't checked out other videos in this series on wire edms please do this now if you find this series or this video useful please subscribe to my channel 
uh, or like it or share it or, or comment on it. Thank you.